Hi, I'm Amber Walter. I'm the Director of Clinical Science at Sheltering Arms Institute. We invested in the advanced technologies in order to take on the key ingredients that we know help in rehabilitation, like repetition, intensity, and salience. I'm really excited for our therapists and patients to show you a little bit more about each of our technologies and how we use them. My name is Zach Crump. I'm a physical therapist at Sheltering Arms Institute. I serve in a role here as the locomotor specialist, which is a role that focuses on translating walking evidence into clinical practice. We use a locomad in an inpatient rehab setting for primarily two purposes. The first is for persons that don't have a stepping pattern on either one of their legs or both of their legs and we use robotics as the first uh, introduction for walking recovery. The second reason we use the locomat for is for persons that have pushing behavior after they have a stroke. So the device uh, provides a benefit to help people walk that can't walk, but then maybe some folks can walk, but their perception of upright is impaired from the stroke. And so the locomat provides a stable environment that keeps their uh, body in midline and allows them to walk in a more normal pattern than they could if they didn't have that. We use the locomat primarily here. One of the best benefits of it is for the person who can't walk. You know, a lot of times a person when they're coming in and they're injured, let's say they can't use their legs at all, the idea of walking to them could sometimes feel like a foreign concept. But the machine's great because it helps us really get people that are the most impaired uh, up on their feet and to help them become ambulatory. Whereas they maybe would have never been able to do that until they could regain some type of muscle function that allowed them to stand up. It's a really big benefit from that perspective. And again, for patients that have neurological injuries from a stroke, like pushing behavior, does a fantastic job at keeping their body in midline which is a great benefit to their recovery. Well, what problem here was I had a stroke. I couldn't move my leg, left leg or my arm. Since I've been here, I've moved my arm good. I moved, didn't feel them in my leg. Sheraton Arm has been real good working with me and patient. And I really appreciate them a lot. My name is Blair Chandler. I am a physical therapist here at Sheltering Arms. Um, I'm a clinical leader for the float team. I have been with Sheltering Arms for seven years now, so I've been using technology throughout those seven years. I primarily focus on neuro. I'm a board certified neurologic clinical specialist. I chose the Andago for David because he likes to have bilateral upper extremity support when he walks. And the Andago has the ability to have the bars in there, but we can also take away a hand and really try to progress him and it makes him feel safe because he does have the body weight harness on it. It also gives him a little bit more freedom to, do, to try things because I don't feel like I have to have hands on him to prevent a fall because it does have the body weight support and the harness and also helps him feel safe in that aspect too. The Andago can really be used for lots of different patients, which is a really big perk of it. You can use it for high level patients and more um, patients that need more assistance, which is really nice. It helps me maximize intensity with my patients, which is very important for motor recovery and neurologic recovery. There's a whole slew of different devices and it really does take you through the whole continuum of care, which is very nice. The safety features are obviously very important. It makes me feel safe in pushing my patients to do some of these things, which I wouldn't do in other situations. What do you think about the Andago and the machine we just walked in? I like it better than the, the other one. Other machine that I'd use in here. Uh, it doesn't seem to be as hard on me. On you? Mm -hmm. Makes it easier? Yeah. It can make it easier and I was surprised by the machine. Yeah. That was a good one. Yeah. You were a little apprehensive about it before, but you liked yeah. it afterwards, right? Right. I'm really grateful to have access to all of this technology here. I'm very thankful that we have support from our leadership and our clinical science team to really maximize us using this and have access to use time and resources to use this with our patients. Um, it really makes watching their recovery and their progress fun because we really can push it and they get invested in the machines and the technology and really like coming to therapy. So.
My name is Gloria Hahn and I'm a physical therapist at Sheltering Arms Institute. I've been here for about four years as a therapist. I actually worked for Sheltering Arms as a rehab tech prior to um, becoming a therapist and so I've been you know, working with technology for a bit of time. I'm a float therapist so I see all different types of patients because I go to all the units that we have but I do enjoy working a lot with our neurological population. So Brie has been progressing so well um, that she's kind of beyond uh, requiring a lot of assistance for a lot of her walking activities and we've gotten to a point where we can really challenge her balance in a dynamic way, whether it's with walking or adding other obstacles like hurdles and things of that nature. And so the Ryzen really allows for us um, to challenge her balance and it forces her to almost relearn how to recover her balance again, instead of relying on us to kind of hold her and prevent her from losing her balance. Uh, so we're able to really challenge her in different ways and creative ways that we wouldn't be able to do otherwise. The Ryzen is great because of the feature to go in multi-directions. So it's not just straight, you can go forward, backward, left, right, and add in additional challenges that you wouldn't otherwise be able to do. And when we don't have body weight support, we kind of have to be pretty close to our patients. Um, and so that makes it pretty challenging to do functional activities when you're right up next to someone, but you can really add more obstacles and things and be hands off because you have the fall prevention system in place, which gives us both the therapist and the patient some peace of mind and the ability to challenge them more. All this technology really allows us to incorporate um, not just walking, but walking in a way that's functional for the patient. Um, so at least particularly for me, I really enjoy incorporating all the things that they like to do outside of work, um, things that they like to do as hobbies or with their families. Um, and so with Bree, it was, we've gotten past the point where we're just doing walking um, and we were able to really challenge her some more. So Bree, I mean, I know you have a lot of goals in mind for moving forward and getting, once you discharge from the hospital, um, what are you know some of those things that we've been able to kind of address while you've been here? Definitely being able to play with my young boys. I have two young boys, eight and three, and we enjoy playing soccer and running uh, in the grass and outside anywhere we can. And the, the Ryzen has provided the technology that gives the diversity of going forward and then coming back and the swivel through the cones and I never I did not think coming in here that I was going to be able to dribble the soccer ball when I left so the fact that 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 I can even do that is amazing and that I have learned the skills with using the Ryzen, this great technology here and the great uh, physical therapists here that that I can, I have the skills to keep le learning and keep going with um, my progress. So I, I really appreciate that. Well, we really enjoy working with you too. Thank you.